Rebel might well be the man that Bob Phillips has his eyes riveted on. Virtually shut out here last year. He may be the key. They start with only Campbell behind Stabler. He throws to Campbell. Bobbles the ball at the 30-yard line. Incomplete. Dan Pastorini said of Campbell, he can't catch a cold. Well, Stabler said, well, we'll prove that wrong. But the first try proves Pastorini prophetic as Campbell unable to hang on to a relatively easy chance. Can you imagine Campbell out in the open with the football in his hands and only light defensive backs to, to tackle him? It's obvious what the pass to Rini. Again, only Campbell behind him, a draw. Ooh. Campbell draws a crowd at the 28, where it'll be third down and six. Plenty of action already. From the 32, Stabler to Campbell, and he rips to the 39. Seven up. Ten minutes, 50 seconds left in the first quarter. Campbell again. He's shy of the first down. exactly what the Steelers do on this play. They've got a lot of black shirts in on the action. They turn Campbell to the outside, and look how many guys get a piece of that tackle. With nearly 11 minutes remaining in the first half, and Stabler back to the air, a screen pass. Campbell catches this one, 30, 35, and caught from behind at the 37-yard line. Jack Lambert right on the heels of Campbell. Otherwise, Earl would have had another 10 yards or more. to Campbell. Campbell catches this one. That has to help his confidence. That tells me a lot about Stabler and his leadership. Right back to Cleveland in the same division next week. Down 10, both Renfro and White shoes to the left. It's Campbell up the middle. No hole. He breaks through on his own. Out to the 33-yard line at Alderson, West Virginia. And an obstacle race between women inmates and members of the prison staff. Again, short yardage. Houston ball, third and seven by Mike Barber. Stabler was nine for 21 in the first half for only 63 yards and had four picked off, three of those on deflections. Campbell, short yardage. Campbell was the only man who carried the ball for Houston the entire first half. 21, let's see, uh, seven attempts, 24 yards for Campbell. What a in the end zone for New England, so it was Earl Campbell hitting White Shoes Johnson here in Pittsburgh. No question that this is a shocker. The first pass that Campbell has thrown in his professional career, and it goes for a touch, and it goes to someone who is equally happy. definition for the word fear. I think it might be uh, playing corner at about 180 pounds and seeing Earl Campbell catch the football all by himself in the secondary and realizing that you were the only one between Earl Campbell and the end zone. No thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That'll put you in the whirlpool. <laughs> Again, 
indication of the timing problems that will exist between Kenny Stabler, his backs, and his receivers. Did not get the handoff cleanly to Earl Campbell. Campbell obviously concentrating so thoroughly on getting up into that line, and Stabler stepped a little too far. What a great break. First and inches. Conway Heyman recovered the fumble. First and goal. It is a touchdown for Earl Campbell. Going back to the fumble recovery by Heyman. Merlin, it's interesting to know Conway Heyman, right tackle, 6'3", 270. You know what his nickname is? Earl. Earl. So Earl Campbell caught it up and the other Earl in the middle of the line said, I got it right here. And Earl Campbell certainly came through on that carry into the end zone. Did you hear how quiet it got here in this city? There are a few Oiler fans, and there was a ripple over there, kind of lost in the 54,000 Steeler fans from Pittsburgh to tie the Steelers. From the 34, Campbell breaks a tackle, gets outside to the 38-yard line. Replaced him, he's to the left in the slot with White Shoes, Johnson, Barber on the right. A fake to Campbell, and a throw to Campbell. Breaks one tackle. early about Stadler's going back to Campbell after he dropped the first three passes of the day. Since that time, he's caught everything thrown at him. Now, that means so much to Earl Campbell, and it means so much to these Houston Oilers. If Stabler... Packers are tied at six, overtime. 